Okay, uh, as you can see, I was supposed to be here together with a friend, a colleague, uh, Joe Cleasing from... Uh, oh. Sorry. All done. Uh, Joe Cleasing from uh, Next Year. He's a software product line executive. Unfortunately, uh, Joe was not able to, uh, to make the, the trip to Israel, but uh, we will have a nice representation of him uh, here regardless. So, okay. What we're going to talk about is the collaboration uh, between Tactile Mobility, a uh, startup from uh, Haifa, dealing with formalizing the sense of touch in vehicles, uh, together with Nextier, a top tier one provider of uh, steering systems to the industry. And basically what we have done, we have implemented the tactile mobility technology within the steering EPS of Nextier in order to provide an end-to-end -end smart steering system that actually feels the road. The steering is the connection when you're driving the car, the steering wheel is the connection that you have, the driver has with the road. You actually feel the road. And now we're actually making that smarter. As I've said, tactile mobility, we are a software provider. Our software resides within the ECU of the car. And with signal processing and machine learning, we're generating smart insights that can be used by the different systems also uploaded to the cloud or in short we formalize the sense of touch bmw startup garage has we have we are in production with uh, the bmw group and a few words about that from them bmw startup garage has a role of searching for startups outside the common range that's exactly what contributed to our project. We thought we knew all the technical solutions, but there was one more. When we started to develop the new generation of road sensing technologies that we feel is necessary for developing cars of the future, we only knew of very few algorithms. And then a colleague of Startup Garage approached us and claimed he has found a company that says they do it in a different way. The company is called Tectam Mobility. It's located in Israel. With their solution, they can even describe the road surfaces and the grip that's available in a, a very detailed and a very innovative way. That's what was very new. Startup Garage offered us to do a proof of concept with Tectam Mobility, and the results were just amazing. Combining BMW technology that we already had with the new solution was like the holy grail. So this needs to be um, with our customers. Thank you, Martin. Always kind to hear that. And now I'll hand it over to Joe to talk about next year. Thank you, Ido. We at next year recognize that Israel is one of the most important innovation hubs globally. And Ecomotion is testament to its creativity and inventive power. And I really wish I could be with you today in person. Now, who is next year? We are originally a spin-off from General Motors and Delphi, headquartered in the metro Detroit area in the USA. And as a tier one, we call the vast majority of vehicle manufacturers our customers. On this slide, you see some of our corporate metrics. For the most part, our core competencies are centered around steering and vehicle dynamics. We think of steering as the most important vehicle to human interface. It shapes how we perceive the driving experience. And for the next generation of connected chassis products, the vehicle needs to feel the road, needs to feel the road surface. 
and we are very proud that with Tecta Mobility, we have found a partner who walks the journey together with us. Tecta Mobility contributes best-in-class data analytics and machine learning algorithms that are proven in production, which is so important and valuable. Without Tecta Mobility, our product vision that you see here on this slide just wouldn't be possible. Ido? Thank you, Joe. As you can see, uh, we uh, have collaborated with, uh, with Nextier, generated the, the technology, and here's a, a glimpse of what this joint collaboration does. Basically, there are two main parts uh, to, the, to the system or functionalities that are uh, uh, capable. The first is around road friction, identifying uh, the road friction and basically doing that in all of the driving conditions. From zero speed, when you're standing in your driveway and just turning the wheel and actually feeling the road in urban conditions, doing uh, very low speeds and excitations, all the way to cruising on the highway without any ex excitations and still receiving the actual estimations of what is the current friction with the road. Why is that important? That's important for safety, that's important for performance. Just imagine that you're driving in your vehicle and you put adaptive cruise control on and you hit black ice. We're here in Israel, we, I'm not sure that the Israelis here know what black ice is, but that's when the, the asphalt is actually icy, but you can't see it. So it's called black ice because it's little water that froze. Still, it's very, very slippery and dangerous. If the vehicle identifies that, it can precondition the system and keep a safer distance from the car ahead. In addition to the road, uh, um, uh, friction uh, data, there are a lot of benefits for use both in the car, as I have explained, but also this data is uploaded to the cloud and can be used for monetization, can be used for smart decisions for cities. The other part of the solution is around tire parameters. I'm sure we're all familiar with the tire pressure light that comes on when you're uh, missing pressure on the tire and you need to go and stop the car and, and feel some air. But what about tire blowout prediction, tire wear? Your tires wear, I know that I, as a driver, I change the tires when I have a flat tire and the mechanic tells me, hey, you need to change a couple of tires. And as an Israeli, I always feel that, you know, he's probably, you know, he wants me to pay some more than just uh, for the flat tire. But what if the car was smart enough to tell you, hey, you need to change your front right tire just because it's too stiff, it's too dry, your tread depth is now reached its limit. 
we do that, we do that with a software only solution that is capable of doing all that, all those things. Basically, for the tire health, of course that for the OEMs, it's, uh, it, it's an obvious benefit for safety. For the tire manufacturers, it's, it gives them the opportunity to enable smarter tires. If you're looking at fleet managers, tire as a service, providing tires, knowing exactly when they're about to wear off. For insurance uh, uh, companies, again, risk management. It's all about risk management. So these are the advantages of, of this collaboration. This is something that is happening and it's, I think, the advantage of a large tier one company taking a technology or adopting a technology from a, a startup really paid off for both entities creating a true one plus one equals three uh, solution. Any questions from the audience? Okay, if you'd like to hear more, we're right here at the Innovation Boulevard. Over there, we'll be happy to show you more on our solution, on the joint solution. Thank you very, very much and enjoy the conference.